Hi guys, I'm your girl KG and welcome to Gossip Hot Spot. Skim Sam Pretty is in love again. Who could it be? Is it Lahasa or the new guy? Let's find out. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Finally, Kwezi and Lahasa are in a relationship. But they are not in love. I guess Lahasa is using her as a rebound. After hearing that Pretty has moved on again to Kate, Lahasa now wants to try a relationship with Crazy. Francois told Lahasa that Pretty is now dating Kate, which of it is a lie. Lahasa was hurt by the news and now he is telling Crazy that they should be in a relationship. I doubt if their relationship will ever make it because there is no chemistry between them. Pretty is now an inspiring lawyer. She wants nothing to do with Lahasa. I'm happy to see where Pretty is right now. Lahasa will fall for Pretty again when he meets her wearing a nice suit and attending calls with Bobati. Kwezi is going to be happy but Lahasa will not stop thinking about Pretty. Pretty will always belong to Lahasa because their love is true and not pretending. Kwezi needs to tell Lahasa who got her pregnant. Pretty will be in love again, but to whom it is not revealed. I bet it's Lahasa since they have a strong bond. Pretty has returned to campus, but she is feeling discouraged and unsure. Despite still holding feelings for Lahasa, she can't shake the fact that he fathered a child with crazy. However, it's important for Pretty to realize that Lahasa has let her down multiple times. And it's time for her to move on and find love elsewhere. Right now, her main focus should be on obtaining her degree. Fans of the show would love to see her happy and succeeding once again. As her mother wisely advised, Pretty needs to concentrate on her studies. Lehasa and the pressure of living in Santon will only hold her back. If she wants to return to that lifestyle in the future, she must finish her degree first. Likely, she has the support of her family who loves her. This is a crucial opportunity for Pretty to change her life for the better. By prioritizing her education and personal growth, she can create a brighter future for herself. There's high speculations that Pretty will date this guy. Bopa Bay, do you agree? <laughs> Let us move on to Larato Marabe, better known as Pretty from Skim Sum, detailed biography. Pretty is a beloved character on the popular South African television show Skim Sum. The character, played by actress Larato Marabe, has become a fan favorite due to her relatable struggles and infectious personality. But who is the woman behind the character? And how did she become the actress we know and love today? Let's take a close look at the life of Larato Marabe, who brings Pretty to life on our screen. Larato Marave was born on March 23, 2002 in Soweto, Johannesburg. She grew up with her parents and three siblings and always had a love for the performing arts. As a child, she was known for her infectious personality and her talent for entertaining others. She would often perform skits and plays for her family and friends and it was clear from a young age that she had a passion for acting. Larato's big break came when she was 11 years old. She auditioned for the role of Pretty on Skim Sum and was chosen out of hundreds of other young actresses. She made her debut on the show in, in 2011 and quickly became a fan favorite. Her portrayal of the lovable and relatable character has earned her critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Despite her success, Larato has remained grounded and focused on her education. She attended school while filming Skim Sum and worked hard to balance her acting career with her studies. In 2020, she graduated from high school 
with top honors and she is now pursuing a degree in communications. Lerato also used her platform to give back to her community. She is a passionate advocate for youth empowerment and has worked with several organizations that focus on education and mentorship. She believes that every young person deserves the chance to succeed and has made it her mission to help others achieve their dreams. Outside of acting and philanthropy, Lerato is a typical teenager. She enjoys spending time with her friends and family, listening to music and watching movies. She is also an avid reader and loves to curl up with a good book whenever she gets the chance. Lerato's success on Skimsum has opened many doors for her in the entertainment industry. She has appeared in several other television shows and films and has even tried her hand at producing. She produced and starred in a short film called Lunchtime Heroes in 2018, which was well received by audience and critics alike. Despite her success, Lerato remains humble and grateful for the opportunity she has been given. She credits her family, friends and fans for their unwavering support and is dedicated to using her talents and platform for good. As Kim Sam continues to be one of the most popular shows in South Africa, Lerato's star power only continues to rise. She has become an icon for young people across the country and a role model for those who aspire to follow in her footsteps. With her talent, drive and dedication to making a difference, Lerato Marave is truly one of a kind. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. I'll see you soon. Bye.